Well, it's a cold, windy day at the flea market today. But um, today I'm going to, I guess, show you guys what weighted silver is. We're going to bring some weighted silver over to uh, Brian and see how we do. But maybe we'll find something before that. Indian's really cool. It's always something to find at the flea market, though, even on a windy day. I think today it's like 28 or so. Good hoodie. And then when you put it back in, you just push the button in for the hoodie. What do you get on the silver and turquoise? That $10. I think it's got like a little chain that holds it together. Uh, which side does it open at? Towards me. Yeah, it's your, your side. What do you get on the air pressure gauge in the bag? Ten dollars. Just figure out what you like. Yep. <laughs> I'm come up with something. Uh, take a look at it. It's funny. It's the second one I've seen in a little pouch. That's cool. Yeah. Got a nice pipe. Got a half a dozen of them in there. Cool little Japanese. Yeah, I like the little signature on it. Have you tried one of the Billy beers yet? They're still cool. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they got to be good, right? <laughs> I don't think that was good when they came out. <laughs> I don't, it's amazing how many full six packs you see. It was a big collector's item back then. But nobody wants to collect it now. Maybe, uh, you ever see that? show Good Mythical Morning where they try old food and stuff. <laughs> Maybe they'll try it. That's a good way to get poisoned. Yeah, I would think so, right? What do you get on the bowl? Ten bucks. Uh, we'll just say for the three items, twenty dollars. How's that? Alright, I have to do that. Thank you. <laughs> I'll show you guys the gauge. Alright. Hey, there's the button so we can meet. Now push that in. Tire pressure gauge, pretty cool. It's in, it's in. No, it's not no, All right, spent my first twenty. That's what it. Tomorrow, you want to bring jewelry? I'll be there tomorrow. Can you remind me tonight? Yeah, I'll call tonight and remind you. It's a nice, it's a nice big, uh, fifty pounds. Uh, it's a box, right, of mixed jewelry. Okay. Picking up some uh, jewelry lots so that way we can go through them later. I don't know how much longer the flea market's going to be open for. Stangle. Kind of cool. out there. Yeah, curly hair Dan set up today. He always seems to have something. Hey Dan. Hey, what's going on Dave? So you chose the coldest day of the year to set up? Oh yeah. <laughs> Get ready for winter. Are you guys still going away? Uh, no. Uh. Not well, we are, but we're going to back it up some more. Yep. Well, I mean, they just had that hurricane, so. Yeah, they're okay, though. Good. That was on the Caribbean. He was going to. That's a wild painting back there, Dave. Nicaragua. But they just had an awful, uh, awful 
the hurricane. You can see the wind moving, all the little stuff. Pasta cutter. Hey Dan, what do you get on the pasta cutter? I don't even know I had one there. <laughs> whatever you want, Dave, whatever you want. It doesn't matter, right? They make them mechanical now. Jesus Christ, that's a crazy one. Oh, it's got the directions underneath. Yeah, I see it down there. Yep, noodle. American noodle maker. American noodle maker. Uh, this one's got to be from like the teens. I would think so. Man, that, that wind just. It's pleasant. <laughs> it's brisk. All right, let's see what else we can find. I don't know. Hey, Dan. One, two, three, what? four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. What do you do? This green necklace. Whatever. Looks like it's old. That and the, uh, I guess the pewter husky. Yep. You gotta have anything else in there that I particularly need? Everybody needs all that stuff. Well, it's oh yeah, it is snow, <laughs> snow flurries. It, you know, it's really snow. It's really snow. Well, this is from the '50s, she said. The lady who you chose a good day to set up. Nice gruin. It's a pretty amazing set, right? Yep. In the Have you seen this set before? But it's actually a good, um, good little watch. Like yeah. I have never seen this. Forty years of doing this, I've never seen this set. Yeah, I can't say I've seen that color combination no, too much. Let me see. Here, there you go. They don't want that teapot to spill on you. There he is, Tristan! Hey, Look, Tristan. Unleash the cobra. Watch, he's going to unleash the cobras for you. He's going to go, ready? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> he's too cold, I think. Now, there he goes. Look, he's unleashing him now. Snowing out? Yeah, where were you at? What? He was having Christmas vacation next to the cookie sign. He saw that cookie sign. He went running for it. Dan, this... uh. It's missing the top, but yeah. does it run? I uh, don't know. Look it up, look it up, look it up. Yeah. I would say that's one mint set, sir. Look at the inlaid. Oh, uh, you got it. He's going to buy it if you don't for 700 <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Sold to that man right over there. The just in case you guys didn't know, see this guy right here? The best dancer in all of Trenton area, the greater Mercer County area. Show sure, what you got. <laughs> I think he's too cold right now. He's my neighbor. How could he be cold? Hey man, I thought you were the What's going on? Not much. Almost looks like silver. I think it's too heavy though. I always like little tchotchkes. Scarves today? Nice and windy. <laughs> I know. It's not 90 degrees and you don't and you have scarves on the table. <laughs> That's Renee's from uh, Paper and Moose. She set up today in the nice cold weather. Like the squirrel. Everything good in the world? Huh? I said everything good? Yeah. 
chose a, chose a nice cold day to be here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I, uh, what do you want on the rabbit? Okay. Renee, what do you get on these two little guys? Oh, everybody's good. Uh, it's, it's, it's back here. There's, there's just a lot of cases in the area, so yeah, it's yeah. definitely getting to be, yeah, be touchy. But the good thing is there isn't a lot of people at the market, so. All right, over five bucks. Morning, Jim. Hi, Dave. Everything good? Yeah. I think the wind finally might have stopped. Yeah, I forgot you texted me pictures of your, uh... Of the what? Of your Confederate. Oh, yeah. A while ago. Right. Because I thought, because it looks similar, so I thought maybe... So she sleeps there somehow? I don't know. It probably came off the top. Uh, I watched the paper. What do you get on that? Let me see. Ten bucks. For you, ten dollars. All right. Both pieces. Kind of interesting how it kind of fit together. I wonder what it did. Maybe it was just. The, uh, it came off a clock, probably. That's all. Uh, all right. I saw the. Uh, Those, the envelopes? Well, there was a similar lot. 20, you didn't have 29, did you? No, I had. So I was wondering if. I had like 12. Yeah. 12, 12 Confederate envelopes or something like that. You still got them, don't you? Yeah, they're sitting. I, I didn't know if you would consign them to the auction or what. Nah. So that's a good sign that they... Uh, they went up a little? Well, I don't know. It's hard to tell with them what, well, I, what they're bidding on. I can show you on the phone. I, I have a few more other types of stamps I'll show you one day. Especially if I can get a... I think I have a Canadian book or something here today. Do you have a Canadian buyer? Not really. Pen top. What do you get on the pens? Or pen uh, tips? I don't know. I didn't look at them yet. Are they gold? I would think no. <laughs> Dump them out. Let's see. No, nah, they're all steel. Maybe your ring's gold. Nope. Uh, I'm just going to give you the 10 on this. Thank you. So, I got my uh, bag of silver. Bringing it up to show Brian. I'll show you what I have. Um, I guess that's a sugar. I have a creamer. And large candlestick they're all Mark Sterling but to get them to oh, I get this one stuck there's a pair of these large candlesticks probably I'm not going to scrap the candlestick just wanted to see what he said and then there was a small candlestick somewhere in the bag. Of course I can't find it because it is cold. There it is. So everything here is weighted silver and we'll see uh, what, let's see how it says sterling Columbia weighted. This one I don't think says weighted but it just says Oh, yeah, I can't read that one. And I know this one here is just marked with a sterling and a W. But see how the bottom of that isn't sealed like this? All right, go get Brian. Oh, these pieces are weighted. They're reinforced like with a 
plaster of Paris or and, and so so even though it's heavy it's yes not actually yes so sometimes what, these are only like 30 percent of the total weight and these could be uh, like, like what, sixty-five percent of the weight. What do you mean our, by uh, like, like what what's what's in it? Like if we peel peel this off here. Oh, so it's like a thin yeah, layer. You could see, and then inside, see it's as thin as maybe three sheets of tin foil, <laughs> and then we knock that out. So that shows you the weight difference right there. Under, so it's not too much. And that. So, but uh, one of the the things they say is usually like 20, 25 percent of the weight could be the silver. And now, now this is heavier because this is a solid piece on the bottom. What qu on question our, is when? Yes. Here, just pull yes. this off. So, where would it be weighted here? All throughout here would contain this. Okay. They make a mold. So, so when you're buying this, but when you're when you're buying yes. this, you don't want to pay for like well, a half a pound of silver. Well, sometimes if you have a better make on there, it could be worth it. But regular makes. So, yeah. so, so, so do you, bring a premium. you would think what a quarter pound of this is? Well, probably uh, you know four to five ounces of this centerpiece uh -huh. would be now, weighted. How about the these bars? These have steel reinforcement rods that run through here. So it would be and, almost magnetic if you. Yeah, well, sometimes, but they use a cop, like sometimes a copper. Okay. On here, then here, these are not weighted, so that's good. That's a good sign. Often they are. And weighted. would the center here be weighted? Yes, all weighted here, and this is lead to make it stronger. Oh, so it would actually sit yes. in the cup. Yes. Um, what uh, what would this like? How much silver um, probably would be well, in this probably one? Probably here. This uh, this alone is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is over. Uh, this may be seven ounces. All right. So seven. That just that top alone is about one hundred and fifty dollars. Then here you're going to have another, maybe another eight ounces. So eight times two, six, like sixteen, hundred and sixty. It could be almost three hundred dollars for one candlestick, but that's unusual. Right. Well, this on one was yes. just made well. I yes. I have a pair of them. I just wanted to get a yes. appraisal on those. Yes. So that that that's great. All we'll right. scrap these right. and see. Uh, All right. We'll see what this comes in. Here. You may have to get a hammer. Here, I'll bring it over. So this is your uh, <laughs> your, your smashing yeah. table. Yeah. So we put that. Here, so. Ah. Okay. So yeah. I now I've had. A lot of people who've just bought these and didn't know that there was. Oh yeah, that's and, what you got to watch. If it ever says weighted or reinforced. Well, a, a lot of times if the bottom is solid too, that's an easy way to tell. Yes. Because this one doesn't say weighted. This candlestick. Mm -hmm. I think it does. No, the, this candlestick. Oh, oh, that other one. Yeah, it just oh, the says candlestick. Throw. Yeah. Well, usually you'll see if it's filled and it's. Yeah, the, these are marked weighted. That's kind of yes. why I thought this was a yeah. good idea for a video. Mm -hmm. All right, then we can get a weight on them. All right, and so th this is all then yes, that's now, solid, so that's now, now solid silver. Yes, that's solid. And these little handles are yes, hollow? Yes, so, yeah, they're hollow, but nothing inside of them. Okay. So that's good. All right, let's see what we're at. Okay, now we set it to penny weight. 20 penny weights will equal one ounce. So here's an example. That was in the bottom of that. Of the candlestick? So here, look, five ounces alone just for this piece. That was the clay. And how much would that be then? Well, five, it, almost a hundred dollars in scrap. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, so somebody could really make a big mistake if yes. they leave that yes. in there. Now here, it's okay. So there's two ounces because mm -hmm. forty would make two ounce, and here is another here, seventy nine. So, so it's almost eighty. Four, yeah. So four ounces times about twenty dollars. This is eighty dollars. Yeah. Awesome. On there. And what's funny is the weighted one, one weighted one piece weighted thing weighs, weighs more, more than, than that. Yeah. And that we already we knocked two others yes. off of that. So. Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. I, I appreciate yep, all sir. the all yes. the knowledge and thank yeah, you for. Yeah. So uh, tell people to watch out for weighted pieces. Yeah. Well, it's not a hundred percent silver. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that fit right in there. Spent forty. I spent mm -hmm. sixty today, so huh. that oh, means <laughs> that means I'll leave with uh, more than I came with. That's good, especially on a cold, windy day like today. Here's a, here's a two oh. and a four. And a six and an eight. All right. Eighty. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, oh, you're Brian. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, for a cold day at the market, I ended up finding a few things. Um, from Paper and Moose, we got the rabbit, the weighed owl. I bet that might be an okay, like probably eight or ten bucks on eBay. I'm not sure. Um, and the little uh, bluebird. Uh, one of my buddies, I got the bowl, 
the tire gauge and the turquoise neck, uh, bracelet, cuff bracelet. I don't see a hallmark, but it is sterling. Um, pretty nice little Southwest piece. Uh, I got that for $20. I was very happy with that. I know this gauge sells for about $30 without uh, without the little cover. It's nice that it has the little button. So probably the cuff bracelet's worth about 40 to 45. And I'll sell the bowl on a Sunday, probably get 30 to 20 to 30 bucks on that. Um, my buddy Jim, I did buy the pen things when I was leaving. He charged me uh, $3 on all the pen tips and uh, $10 on the sleeping girl with the dog. I just thought that was really cute. And from Curly Hair Dan we got the Husky and Pewter, the early Art Deco glass beads, and uh, the grew and watch in gold filled. I gave him 25, so I figured the gold filled watch was worth the 20 and five dollars for the other two. So I don't know. I was very happy with how, how the day went, and we made some money on the silver. So hopefully everybody's safe out there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, get into the heat. It's cold out here. See everybody later. Peace. What do you get on the... Samba. It's a fun tin. What do you get on the... Samba. It's a fun tin. What do you get on the...